after six months of, of living in Sweden, um, I, ex I was planning to extend the stay. I was rejected, so um, I was forced to leave Sweden. Uh, at the same time, I had um, uh, set up a meeting with agents and uh, producers in Hollywood. So I won a um, script at the competition. Fourth, I took fourth place. So it was um, a good idea to fly to Canada because I needed to do some paperwork. And we had a crazy idea to buy a van and uh, convert it to a camper. So we flew to uh, Toronto. Uh, we were looking for a van a, a couple of weeks, but the price was a little bit higher than we expected, but we decided to go ahead and purchase the van. So we bought the van and um, did the brakes, changed the brakes, changed the broken windshield, and um, did the same. This is the first one we looked at. I'm not recording. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you why are you so happy? We got the car! We will get the car. <laughs> so what are you gonna do tonight? <laughs> that would be fun. And then? And then... Uh, insulate. Yes! Insulation! So my friend met us at the airport and um, we were lucky to be invited and stay with them in Toronto in their big house. Um, so we, stay, we stayed for two weeks um, in uh, Toronto while we were looking for the van. So when we found, we drove to the, uh, back uh, to the house and parked outside of the house. Yeah. Yep. I like the sun and you Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you have to back up again? Yeah. And then put panels because we yeah. have insulation, so we're saving as well. Yeah. So let's say uh, but it will be good. This will be like cleaning the carpet and uh, bed frame, like those guys did. Bad frame. Yeah, bad frame. So let's say how they did like this, like this. So you put the frame. I mean, you, you build it. So you have from back. You have the the storage from this side you have the storage and what if I know it's a window but the, the husky we saw the black on the Home Depot the husky uh, drawers the yeah but did you see the guy yesterday in the video yeah yeah did, did he like it no okay then we can just use uh, any material we find and make this so, yeah. You can watch for weather because doors you have to put one so more often. But these ones are only to connect the uh, panels. Yes. So we can find something cheaper. We need this. This is perfect. Can we move this one? You prefer that? Yes. <laughs> I 
know you like the long tour. <laughs> the choice comes to bo. Bigger is better, right? Yeah. What are you doing? I am removing the panel. Why? Because we want to put the insulation. We don't want ah. to get cold okay. during Chicago trip or whatever. Chicago? Yeah. You mean Hollywood? Yes, but Hollywood has a plus 15 or 20 degrees. Okay. <laughs> this is the way to Hollywood. So tell the viewers a little bit about the trip. About? The trip. Oh, fix as fast as possible. Hit the road. The I work? <laughs> Hit the road as fast as possible. And be in Hollywood before 10th of March. Okay. To make the presentation and sell the script. Good. Wow, you're so fast! Woo! Ta Two in one! <laughs> so, we uh, decided to, um, to do the insulation inside to make it warmer. And um, so, we drew to Home Depot, bought insulation, drew back and uh, board um, the heater from my friend to put inside the van and uh, we were trying to uh, remove the panels from the van and uh, start with insulation. So the heater that we board from a friend of mine uh, didn't work well inside the van it still was like minus 10 outside was minus 15 or 20 something like that so we decided to um, go on Amazon and buy 5 kilowatt uh, heater diesel heater so um, the hump was um, installed under the passenger seat Even though diesel heater worked uh, great, we weren't happy with the situation uh, of repairing the van outside on the street. So I contacted a friend of mine uh, named Mike and he has a furniture workshop and uh, we asked if we, will, we can use his space and luckily he invited us and showed all the tools that we can use inside the shop. So we drove the van from uh, my friend's house to the sh workshop and we started um, working at night shift. So our working schedule uh, changed. So we started working uh, from six in the evening to six in the morning. At six in the morning, we had to pack up all our stuff and drive van uh, around like one hour up north in Toronto back to my other friend house sleep for a few hours during the daytime then drive uh, one hour back to the workshop and start process again we were allowed to use the workshop from six in the evening on Friday till six o'clock in the morning till Monday and uh, with a few hours of sleep we were almost working non-stop thanks for watching please like and subscribe <laughs> thanks <laughs>